In the beginning of a new year we can witness an exciting celestial events. Two different full moons, blue moon, plus a total lunar eclipse, a blood moon, both full moons are a super moons, and one will occur the night of January 1st, known as the wolf moon. Other names for the wolf moon include the old moon, ice moon, moon after moon, and snow moon, although this last one is more commonly used for the full moon in February. A blue moon is when two full moons happen in the same calendar month. Lunar eclipse occur when the moon passes into Earth's shadow, and super moons happen when the moon's perigee, its closest approach to Earth in a single orbit, coincides with a full moon. The first full moon of January will take place on the night of January 1st or the morning of January 2nd, depending on your location. The second full moon and the lunar eclipse will occur on the night of January 31st or the morning of Feb. 1. And the supermoon will take place on the night of Jan. 30, which is technically one day before the moon reaches peak fullness, but even NASA is willing to call the event a supermoon nonetheless. The first full moon of January will be on New Year's Day. For viewers in New York, it will occur at 9.24 pm local time. In the United Kingdom, at 2.24 am local time, and in Hawaii, it will be at 4.24 pm local time. Not every place on Earth will see the blue moon this month, because the second full moon of January won't technically appear in those places until Feb 1. These places include regions in Eastern Asia and Eastern Australia, where sky watchers won't see the first full moon until January 2nd and the next full moon until the morning of Feb 1. Blue moons are a not as rare as the old saying, once in a blue moon, implies. They happen about once every 2.7 years. Because the number of days in a lunation, new moon to new moon, is a bit less than the usual calendar month, 29.53 days as opposed to 31 or 30 days, except for February. A sequence of 12 lunations adds up to 354.36 days, against the 365.24 days in a year. The discrepancy adds up over time, until a year will have 13 lunations as opposed to 12. For some observers, 2018 will feature two blue moons, one in January and one in March, with no full moon in February. The real star of the show for moon watches is the lunar eclipse on Jan. 31. The supermoon, when the moon reaches its closest point to Earth in this orbit, will be the day before, on January 30th at 4.58 am, est 0958 GMT. The moon will be 223,068 miles, 358,994 kilometers, from Earth compared to the average distance of 238,855 miles, 384,400 kilometers, according to NASA. Lunar eclipses are only visible on Earth's night side. Observers in New York City will see the moon enter Earth's penumbra, the lighter, outer part of its shadow, at 5.51 am on Jan. 31. The penumbra darkens the moon only a little. Unless you are especially keen-eyed, it is often difficult to notice. The moon will touch the umbra, the darker part of the shadow that gives the eclipse the distinctive look of darkening and reddening the moon, at 6.48 am local time. But the moon sets only 16 minutes later, so New Yorkers will get to see only the first part of the eclipse. To see as much of the eclipse as possible, you'll want to be near a flat western horizon. Chicagoans will see the penumbra touch the moon at 4.51 am local time. The umbral eclipse will start at 5.48 am local time, and by 6.16 am, the moon will take on its characteristic blood red color as it enters totality. In Denver and points west, the eclipse will start at 3.51 am local time, with the Umbra reaching the moon's edge at 4.48 am. Californians will have a better view of the end of totality, as the penumbral eclipse will start at 2.51 am local time, and the partial eclipse will begin at 3.48 am. At 4.51 am local time, the total phase will start, ending at 5.29 am. Totality will end at 6.07 am, and the moon will emerge from the umbra at 7.11 am. The penumbral shadow will pass after the moon is just below the horizon. On January 31st, 
people in Tokyo will see the lunar eclipse as the umbral phase start at 7.51 pm local time. The umbral will touch the moon at 8.48 pm, and the maximum eclipse will be at 10.29 pm. In Moscow moonrise there is at 5.01 pm local time on January 31st, and the moon will reach the edge of the umbra at 5.07 pm. The moon will emerge from the dark part of Earth's shadow at 6.07 pm. New Delhi, the moon will rise at 5.55 pm local time and will be fully covered by the umbra at 6.21 pm, so it will turn red just as it reaches about a half a hands width above the eastern horizon.